At Opinium, you hear us talk a lot about the river. And what that really means is from the time you're introduced to somebody through their entire life cycle with your organization, make sure they have the right content at the right time and make sure you're tracking what they do with it. Whether that's employees, salespeople, partners, volunteers, or in this example, customers. But the key is to make it part of a bigger story. You don't want a video story and a learning story. You want a customer story where video and learning can play a seamless part in it. So this is the customer community of a company called Stingray, and you can see they're marketing the new product that they just released. And note that when I click play, this is gonna start at about three minutes because I've previously watched the first three minutes. So it's always tracking where people are engaging, how they're engaging, if they're engaging, and ultimately where they're leaving off. Now, if I wanna take the next step and get certified on that product, I can have that more traditional learning experience. This can be video-based or PDF. It can be e-learning with SCORM or AICC, maybe text-based. Maybe there's classes or webinars I need to attend. Maybe there's a quiz I need to successfully pass. But you can structure all of that into one bigger program. And when the user completes this, they will have certified on that product. And note that because it's a native tool, you can also leverage the power of chatter to make it social and collaborative. Right back on the homepage, you can see the badges that you've previously earned. So there's that gamification layer to increase adoption and engagement. You can also see the upcoming events that you can register for. But not just the upcoming events, you can actually take your past events and take the recording, whether it be in person or webinar, and turn those recordings into video content that you people can leverage going forward as well. And it's important to note that this person is seeing what they're seeing based on who they are. So based on the products they've purchased, their role, their account, their location, you can really drive the right content to the right people based upon everything you know about them. But it might not just be driving content, it might be collecting or asking for content. So this company, for example, runs a monthly contest for their customers to submit videos on how they're using the product. So right here, I can watch another customer's video on how they're using the product. I can also choose to submit my video as part of this contest right from here. I can either upload an existing media file or I can record from my computer, my tablet, or my phone, and I could submit that video right from within the same experience. And that really got us thinking about case management. The biggest delay in case resolution is really because of the text-based or email-based back and forth. There might be lost in translation issues, there might be incomplete steps to replicate, whatever it is. So we thought about flipping case management and turning that into a video tool as well. So when I click open video case, all I have to do is either upload a video or record my desktop or camera. And when that service agent receives that case, they're gonna see exactly what the customer is seeing exactly as they're seeing it. And the customer service agent can respond the same way. They can either choose a video from a pre-existing library or they can record a video and send that back to the customer. So it really optimizes the communication. It really modernizes the communication uh, and speeds up case resolution times. So video and learning can really fit in seamlessly throughout Salesforce. Uh, same thing with Chatter. So if I come into Chatter, you can see this becomes more modern and engaging with the power of video as well. So as I start scrolling through my Chatter feed, just like on other social networking sites, these videos are just gonna dynam dynamically play. But this one's not just a video, it's an interactive video. So there might be a question that I have to answer, or in this case, a call to action, where I can now be taken to get certified on the product where I was just watching the video of. So it really comes full circle. Regardless of where the user is choosing to engage, you can make sure they have the right content, you can track what they do with it, and ultimately you can drive their behavior. So again, we can do the same thing for different audiences, but this is how you can really leverage the power of video and learning to improve and enhance and modernize your customer community experience.